Hey everyone, it's Alexander from City Gazing here. I've decided to do something new today. So if you were subscribed to my channel to just see the picture or images or video, please feel free to mute this video. But I promise if I will see something interesting, something that worth attention and I will not want or need to speak at that moment I will not do that so you will be immersed in that but uh, I just wanted to do something new this time I will not speak when there is a ton of people around I don't feel that comfortable so we'll be silent for a few moments but anyway Today I'm in Greenpoint, that's a part of Brooklyn, where a ton of Polish people lives, and as you will see, there is some signs that are just in Polish. This one says accidents and uh, free consultation or free advice. This is a, there is like a medical office here and uh, the reason I've decided to do this to speak because a lot of people have asked and my friends to do more of voiceover videos and I'm not editing my videos I'm not re-recording them so I'm sorry for the mistakes accent and all that stuff I hope that you don't mind much and I feel like maybe this way you'll feel more connected to me and uh, you might ask more questions and comments because I appreciate all the feedback and uh, I'm glad to be better at this so that's why I'm talking to you. Uh, I started my journey this time at Diamond Street. That's not the main street of the Greenpoint, but uh, we'll, we are going there. Manhattan Ave, that's the main Ave here in the neighborhood. And uh, I will not be just talking about myself. I've actually prepared some of some interesting facts about the neighborhood, something that I already knew and something that I've read on various websites. So stick with me. Today is a very cold day. It says that it's just minus four Celsius, but it says that it feels like, like minus 12 and give me a second and I'll tell you what's the number in Fahrenheit so you don't need to calculate that yourself so it's 22 degrees Fahrenheit and it feels like 10 degrees so the wind is making it feel really colder and uh, that's what I don't like about winter the wind as you can see this sign is also in Polish it says Polish pharmacy and uh, I really enjoy this neighborhood they got a ton of Polish restaurants here which are really nice and uh, a lot of different bakeries and stuff so if you've never been here and you want to explore something new if you live in New York you should check out this neighborhood
as you can see here is the main street here and I will be going towards the Queens uh, I haven't put out any videos for last couple of days just because I was out on a small vacation and uh, I had no time really to shoot anything I just wanted to spend time with my wife without like any cameras and just exploring new cities myself I've been to Atlanta and uh, New Orleans so I really enjoyed those cities maybe one day I'll go back and I'll shoot some videos but I'm trying to explore places myself mm -hmm. and maybe later I will do something extra. Also, DJI said that camera might not work if it's slower than 32 degrees Fahrenheit so it might turn off any time sorry about that in advance if that will happen and it's zero Celsius Also, I don't want this video to be an hour long video, so probably I'll do that, I don't know, 25 minutes, something like this. I don't feel that it's worse to speak for an hour and you will listen to me, but if, if that's not the case, let me know. As you can see, there is trash outside. And if it's your first New York video, that might be unusual for you. But yeah, that's how it works. Trash trucks will come during the night and they will pick up all these things outside. All right, so I promised you some facts about this neighborhood. And what I know is that this neighborhood was very industrial back in the days. And uh, it was like mostly immigrants here who lived here. And uh, they worked at the plants and everything. But uh, Man City became bigger and bigger it became more gentrified and because in early 2000s they made this rezoning thing so they basically allowed people to build taller houses apartment buildings and everything it became more modern much less industrial I think that became much less industrial even before that, but you know what I mean. It attracted more people.
another interesting thing about streets name here that if you will be going through this Manhattan Ave as I'm doing you will notice that street names are in alphabetical order almost all of them as far as I remember only a few of them are named differently just because it was their like pre-neighborhood history because they named after uh, some religious person or something I don't remember sorry about that but if you will follow the signs in the video you will see that they are in alphabetical order I really enjoyed this building. It feels like it's out of this neighborhood, out of this architecture, and it's Greenpoint Savings Bank. Oh, I would say it was Greenpoint Savings Bank. Another interesting thing that during the 50s or 60s of last century there was a huge oil spill here in the neighborhood. The biggest at that time and uh, it's still there. No one cleaned up the bottom of the river and uh, it's still there. I know that activists were fighting for to find out who's guilty, but I don't know if that was resolved properly or not. So people are not drinking water from here, from East River or Hudson River near the New York City, because all the potable water, water is coming from the upstate. And here you can see a really nice church. It's called St. Anthony's as far as I remember. Let me double check that. I don't see any signs, but trust me, <laughs> I think that that's the name.
some parts of this neighborhood really look like Williamsburg to me because it's close to Williamsburg, it's literally the next neighborhood in Brooklyn here and also that's the last neighborhood in Brooklyn if you go further north you'll have a bridge to Queens it's called Pulaski so the architecture here is very similar to Williamsburg And as you probably guessed, because there was an oil spillage spill, and uh, it means that it's near the river bank. So we'll go there now. I think that it will be even colder there, but I'll not be there for long. As you can see, there is not a ton of snow on the streets because we had just like a little snowfall. I was out of the city and I was not, I were not able to record that. But on Friday, in a few days, it should be snowing again. I hope that I will be able to record that. I also read that that was a ton of films filmed here, a ton of movies and, uh, and TV series, obviously. And I read the list and it's around like 15 names and I knew only The Punisher and The Daredevil, so the Marvel comics. And I knew also a law and order, but I feel like they're filming everywhere in New York. It's not hard to find a location where they filmed at least one episode. I really enjoy staircases on the side of buildings here in New York. The place where I'm from, there is nothing like this. So when I was really young and I was watching different movies about the USA, about the US, I've seen these staircases like that's so interesting. Now I understand why it happened, it was like legal reasons to do that so people would be able to escape the fire but 
yeah, I really enjoyed that part. I know that some people think that it's, it looks ugly, but for me, that's just a part of atmosphere and the city. We are almost near the river bank and you see this sign that says F and D obviously it shouldn't say F and D it should be just and but I've seen that multiple times and uh, someone is doing that someone is just putting a yellow sticker on the bottom stripe so I don't know what that means but I think that in several places across New York so this is a park it's called WNYC transmitter park And there's a really nice and huge graffiti. I'll try to shoot it as a whole. Give it one second. It's just really big. It looks nice. And from here, you can see Manhattan. I can't explain or express to you how we did it. It's like really wet and really cold. So I will not be surprised if the camera will turn off. And there is much more snow here. I'm sorry, I will not be going that way to the pier to all the way to see to have a better picture of Manhattan because I'm really cold and I don't want to be sick again so I'm not doing that this time at least when it will be a little bit warmer I'll do that for sure but I will try to take a shot here without the fence That looks good. At least I think so. And another reason I realized that I need to talk sometimes it's because I'm showing something like the house from the Friends TV series. And I'm expecting people to know that it's the house from France and uh, I'm putting that in the video chapter so you can see what's the exact point of interest that is but I'm sure that people are not reading that and maybe this will help my voice even with the accent and mistakes and everything Sorry about that once again. You see some cars, they haven't even like cleaned up the snow. 
so they were not going anywhere for past few days okay let's see what are they shooting here so the project name is Prada I don't know who knows what that means maybe they will wear Prada or something or something completely different because if it's a huge movie they're filming they might put a code name there if that's law and order they will put law and order there like when they were filming Joker the movie they're putting something like Juliet or some other code so people would not go like masses of people would not go there and will not like interrupt the filming process As you can see, this neighborhood is pretty safe. It's almost 10 p.m. now. I'm walking here by myself and no one bothering me whatsoever. So, New York is safe. At least this part. Folks, I think that I almost finished with this video. I'll go to the subway station now and we'll go home. It will happen in a few minutes. But I would really appreciate your feedback on this. If you will share your opinion of... <laughs> that was really strange because they have no lights at this intersection and he almost ran over me so it's not that safe <laughs> I was lying to you but that's fine so anyway I would appreciate all the feedback that you can write it in the comments or you can use my email in the channel description But yeah, feel free to reach out. I'm doing this as a hobby. I don't have several hours a day to work on video, to do some editing. I can do some like basic editing, but I don't want to compose a complex stories right now. Maybe a little bit later. And another thing, I'm always struggling with the thumbnail for the video. So 
if you'll tell me which one you like the most, I would appreciate that. This building looks nice. That's another church. Let's see what it is. The Episcopal Church of the Ascension. I haven't seen this one, but it looks good. I'm wearing gloves, but they're not for this weather. <laughs> My hand is really cold. So that's another reason why I will be going to the subway station right now. Look, some people still have Christmas mood. Another beautiful church. And as you probably seen on my channel, I'm trying to shoot not only all the neighborhoods in Manhattan, but everything outside of Manhattan too. I want people to explore other parts of New York City because it's beautiful and uh, it feels like it's endless. So if you cannot do that in person, you can at least do that with me. Right, I will be going to this subway station called Greenpoint and I will see you guys in the next video I will talk or I will not talk everything will be based on your further feedback so please let me know down below what you think and thanks for watching